Welcome back to Making Number Sense Make Sense. Today I'm going to talk with you about some number writing centers that you can use in your classroom. Now the first thing about number writing is it can be difficult for our kids to do. It's very fine motor heavy, very technical, and reversals are super common. So we really want them to practice it so that they can get their numbers the right way eventually. But it can be kind of a repetitive, boring task that the kids really don't want to do. So I have a solution for you with some ideas and strategies that you can use to help your students practice number writing in their classroom. The first thing about number writing is a lot of times the kids do not have the hand strength they need to really write those numbers. So there's lots of things that you can do to make number writing feel more tactical and so that they can start to remember the way that the numbers go. You can use a gel bag, so you put gel in a bag and some food coloring and then they can practice tracing over it. They can write numbers in sand. Um, one of my favorite ways that's super easy to do is just using a dry erase marker. Because they don't have to write so hard, it is really easy to start to write the numbers. And also I find that because it's dry erase and it's really easy to erase it, kids are more likely to try to write their number because they know they can just erase it if something goes wrong and try again. Another great way to have your kids practice number writing and number formation is with a wiki stick so they can really build it and then feel what the number feels like with their fingers. Now let's dive into some centers that you can do with paper and pencil. The first game that is really, really simple to do is called roll and write. So the kids would simply get a dice, roll it, and then write the number that they rolled. I have found that even if students know all of their numbers, like can recognize them and know what they are in their value, number writing can still be a little bit of a challenge. So that all of the students are practicing writing their numbers, but they can have a little bit of differentiation. There's lots of different things you can do to make this activity a little more challenging or a little easier. The first way is to actually have the dice images on their paper so that they can match the visually what the dice looks like to the numeral and start to learn what that means. Some students might require the additional support of having numbers there that they can trace, and that's something that can make your center easier or harder as well. Once they've moved past the 1 to 6 dice, you can add a 1 to 6 and a 0 to 3 dice so that they can start to add, add a few numbers in, so like 6, 7, 8, and start counting on strategies and things like that. Or you can just go ahead and give them two dice and then they're working on doubles, each with or without tracer numbers to meet your students exactly where they are. You can also play roll and write with 10 frame dice if you want a different representation of those numbers so that kids can really start to develop their number set. And similar to roll and write, you can play spin and write. So instead of rolling a number, they would spin a spinner and then write the number that they spun. That game is really great for if you don't have five frame dice, where they can still get the effect or that representation with the spinning, but not actually have to have the dice. And same thing, you can differentiate by having by lowering or raising the range of numbers that they're using, and if you decide to use a sheet with or without tracers. The next game is really fun because they get to use markers, and it'll end up being rainbow. And I don't know about your students, but my students love rainbows. Anything rainbow, we love it. So. The next game is called Rainbow Pick and Write. So for this game, the students would pick a card and whatever color the number is, they would get that color marker and then write that on their recording sheet. So by the end, they should have all of the rainbow colors on their recording sheet. And this one can be differentiated by doing a direct match of the numeral or having a 10 frame and then they'd have to count it and figure out which number that is to trace. Sticking with the theme of markers, another thing you can do is use a play and go video and a whiteboard and dry erase marker or a paper, a piece of paper in a sheet protector works really great too. So with a play and go video, you will press play and then the students need to figure out how many items are on the screen and then write the number that goes with it. And in the example that I have linked below, after they count it and then answer is revealed, it actually shows the proper number formation so your kids can practice writing it the right way. And at the end, there's a little number practice. So they have one focus number that they practice a whole bunch. And while they're doing that, you're free to circulate around the room and help your students as needed. So there you have it, some easy to prep and easy to use number write activities that you can use in your classroom. I hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure to check the link in the description for all of the games that I mentioned, and I will see you next time. There's nobody in the hall. And then when I start filming, everybody's leaving the house. And some...